what is going on you guys it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's youtube tutorial we are going to be covering a blowout taper with a textured top so to get right into today's tutorial i am going to be using my gamma hitters with my modified ceramic blade to carve in my first bald line and we are going to follow this guideline by using the lever open on my gamma clippers just to create our next guideline in the blowout and with the second guideline you guys do want to take it up about an inch and we aren't going to blend it out quite yet we are going to move into our next step in this taper using the one and a half guard all the way open and same thing with this guideline we are going to take it up about an inch and after we have that guideline set we are going to do some clipper over comb straight into the parietal ridge that way we can blend into the bulk and personally, when I cut hair, I only use the one and a half guard and the half guard for my blends. Like you guys saw, I like to set in my foundation line with my one and a half, followed by the clipper over comb. And to erase our middle guideline, I went ahead and put on the half guard all the way open. And now we're gonna begin doing our lever play while shortening our cutting stroke as we blend out that middle guideline. And basically what I mean by lever play is you guys just want to uh, close your lever little by little while shortening your cutting stroke. So every time you guys close that lever, just be sure to go a little bit lower whenever taking out that guideline. And for the last step in my fading technique, I will do no guard lever closed just to knock out that bottom skin line. And you guys can see that I was effortlessly able to get that left side of the blowout taper done just with those few simple steps. So when it comes to cutting hair, you guys really don't got to overcomplicate it. Just break it down and get straight into your steps. That way you guys can execute the blend as simple as possible. And you guys can see here that I went back to my gamma hitters to carve in my C cup on my client's lineup. And I personally do like to uh, carve in the C cups before I go back and line up the front. And you guys can see that I just kept it very natural. And same thing behind my client's ear. I do like to carve in and outline the nape area on my clients before I begin the taper in the back. And I do highly recommend that you guys zero gap your clippers, whether it's your outliners or your fading clipper, just because it will make the job a lot easier and you guys will be able to get a lot more crispier, fresher lines. You guys can see that these edges right here cut like butter straight through the hair all the way down to the skin with no irritation and if you guys are interested in purchasing them feel free to use my code nevin10 on the gamma website and same thing on the right side of uh, this blowout taper we're going to begin doing the same steps carving in our first bald line with the gamma hitters followed by my bronze series 9 shaver to get it down to the skin and after that we are doing no guard lever open to create our next guideline followed by the one and a half guard all the way open again we are taking both of these guidelines up about an inch just so we have enough space to blend them out and i am going to be doing clipper over comb as always to blend into the bulk and then we're going to go straight into the half guard all the way open so this is basically now cutting the hair down to a number one guard length and you guys can see we are just attacking that middle section that way we could blend the 0.5 into the 1.5 guideline and now that we have that done we just got to go back and knock out our initial skin line so i will start with the clippers all the way closed with no guard this is cutting the hair down to a double zero and again like i said since i do have my clipper zero gapped this did make the job 10 times easier for me just to make that blend nice and blurry so now that we have the right side of the taper complete i'm gonna go ahead and edge up my client c cup as always trying to keep it as natural as possible just to preserve the hairline and make the cut last as long as possible and you guys can see that i am just using the corner kind of like a pen to outline the hairline exactly where i need it to be and now that we have the taper and the c cup carved in I can begin my lineup in the front and my client does like to keep his bangs a little bit longer so we are just tapping his hairline right at that natural point just so we don't push it back and so we can 
um, preserve that bulk that he wants on his forehead. And again, when you guys are doing the lineup, you never want to push your client back. Nobody likes to push back hairline. And like I said, it will preserve the haircut a lot longer and it will last longer if you guys keep it more natural. And now to begin the back side of my taper on my client's nape. First things first, we will carve in our first bald line with the gamma hitters. Just making it really simple for you guys. And if you guys have learned anything in this video so far, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 100K, so thank you for all of my subscribers that tune in and show love to my videos. I truly appreciate you guys. And for the next step, we are using no guard lever all the way open right above our trimmer line. And you guys don't be afraid to go in and cut the hair. I do notice that a lot of beginner barbers tend to keep their guidelines very short just because they're scared to you know go up and actually cut the hair be sure to give yourselves enough space to blend out these guidelines that way like i said you can get a nice clean blurry blend and i did follow this guideline with the one and a half guard while doing some clipper over comb and to knock out that middle section you guys already know that i used the half guard all the way open just doing some lever play shortening our cutting stroke to flick out that middle guideline and just be patient with it some of your clients hair texture is going to be thicker than others so it might take a little bit longer to blend out these guidelines depending on how your client's hair texture is but as long as you guys are being consistent with your fading method and going up you know in the right areas that you guys need to you will be able to achieve a nice clean blend so now that I have that middle section blended out, we just have to come back and knock out our initial skin line. So to do this, I am using no guard clipper all the way closed. And this time we are just gonna be opening our lever little by little, taking our cutting stroke up just a tad bit higher every time we are flicking out that guideline. And by the time you guys get to clipper open, and by the time you guys get to lever all the way open, the blend should be done for the most part. You guys are just going to have to go back and put in a few more details on your haircut. But like I said, for the most part, if you guys do follow these simple steps, you should be able to achieve a nice clean blend. So now that we have all sides of the taper complete, I can go ahead and clean up the nape line behind my client's ear. Just ensuring that all those hairs are locked in, giving it a nice clean, sharp look. And for the top, my client did want to texturize the top and create some texture and volume. So with this cutting technique that I'm using with the shears right here, this is, this is basically just called slithering. And you guys can see that I'm using my Nevin the Barber shears to go through my client's hair at a diagonal, in a diagonal direction. And this is basically just creating more texture. It's not necessarily taking length off of my client. It's just lightening up his hair so it doesn't feel as bulky whenever he styles it and runs his hands through it. And this is my own texturizing powder right here. If you guys are interested in purchasing my own volumizing powder, I will be sure to leave the link in the description. I do have pomades, curling mousse, shaving gel, aftershave, basically all your hair care needs. So if you guys need any products, feel free to check out my website. Any support is much appreciated. And you guys can see that it instantly gave my client more texture and volume on his haircut. This is a very, very neat product right here for men and women that are trying to achieve more volume and texture within their hair. And for this last step in the haircut, I am just doing some shears over comb just to soften up the blend into the bulk of my client's hair. I do personally always like to use shears in my haircuts just because like I said, it, it creates more of a softer finish on the top of that blend. But that is basically it for today's blowout taper. 
again if you guys learned anything in this video please be sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and drop a comment letting me know what you guys want to see next but thank you again for tuning in it's been your boy nevin the barber and i'm out i'll see you guys in the next one